Uh, first question, just how happy are you to sign permanently for Tranmere? No, I'm delighted. I think I think it's the right move for me at this moment in my career. I said it the other day, I'm oh, off the pitch. I'm really happy here, but on the pitch, I think I'm developing really well, and that's what, that's what I need right now. I mean, you know, it's a big decision to leave a club like Celtic as well, isn't it? But does the fact that you're so highly thought of at Tranmere, does that make it an easier decision for yourself? Yeah, of course. You 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 um you want to be where you're wanted. So it, it's in every sense. I think it made it made sense for me to come. Every kind of aspect I looked at it, it made sense. So I definitely made the right decision. And how much? Just how much have you enjoyed your tra- your time at Tram over the last few seasons? And what have you enjoyed most about your time here so far? Yeah, as you said, I've loved it. I mean, last year I enjoyed it last year, but. It was, it was difficult last year. It was hard without the fans and whatnot. It was my first time, first kind of full season of men's football and then with having no crowd and that was a very different experience. But then this year, it's been unbelievable. The support we've had, even the away fans when we've had away games. But I'd say that probably the fans, it's been the best thing this season. And does it feel like a reward as well for the faith that Mickey, Mark and, and the rest of the club have in you? Yeah, definitely. I'm thankful for, for them, obviously, last year bringing me in and again, wanting to bring me back. So um, I just have to repay their fate now. And looking at yourself, how much are you enjoying your, the partnership that you're forming with Jay Spearing in central midfield? No, I'm really enjoying it. I, again, I don't really mind as long as I'm playing. I don't really mind where I'm playing. But at the moment, I'm really enjoying playing midfield. And I think me and Jay were starting to, starting to get a good... Um, understanding with each other so it's going well and he's the perfect person to learn off many way in many ways isn't he with, with his experience at so many levels of the game yeah exactly you're not going to get much much better players to learn off so if i don't if i don't um, if i'm not like a sponge and learning off him i'm not going to really learn off anyone are there any parts of your game so far that you'd say have developed significantly while playing alongside him um i think everything i think um I think my all-round game has got better. Obviously, getting coming from academy football and whatnot, it's a big change. I had it last year, and I'm still adapting to it now, but I think kind of every game, I'm getting grips to it more and more. Absolutely. And you know, you continued that partnership with Jay against Crawley. It was a really tight game as well. So does that make the results even more crucial? Yeah, exactly. I mean, they're the, if we look back at the end of the season, they're the games that are going to be the most important. So again, sometimes they're the most enjoyable as well at the end. Maybe not in the game, but when the 90 minutes are done, they're the most enjoyable three points. In, in some ways as well, do you enjoy those kind of games maybe a little bit more than others just because it requires you to keep your focus for longer as well as opposed to maybe some games where you are 3-4-0 up and you're over the hills and far away, it can maybe relax a little bit more? I suppose so. At, at times, uh, I mean... Yeah, they're more scrappy, I suppose, if you're not 2 3 4 and a look. But again, I kind of like the scrappy side of it, so I don't mind it. So it's different sides to it, but I probably would say I would probably agree. I would probably do enjoy them more. And that's perfect trait for a centre midfielder as well, isn't it? Um, as games, you know, games don't come much bigger as well. And the game coming up on Saturday, do the Forest Green at Prenton Park? How much are you looking forward to the top two clash? No, obviously it's gonna be gonna be a great game. I think for us, it's just another game, really. But there is, I suppose, an extra incentive to it. But we've just got to approach it like we've approached the last ten or whatever games. I suppose that kind of comes into my next question. Where for a squad, it's it's interesting because yes, winning the game gets you closer to top spot, but ultimately. The, the goal at the end of the season is, is to finish in the top three, isn't it? So how's the squad? How are you viewing the, the approach to this game? I mean, I think everyone knows it is, it is a big game. And three points would be massive for us, but I suppose leading into it, it's, it's the exact same. You don't, you don't defer away from anything we've been doing the last all season, really. So I think maybe when it comes to it, obviously, you know, in your head, it's, it's a big game, but you don't do absolutely anything, anything different. It's the exact same. And just finally from me, Lee, it looks like it's going to be a massive crowd at Prenton Park on Saturday, at least 9,000. I'm sure more will turn up on the day as well. You said how much you missed having the fans in your first full season last season. How much are you looking forward to having a, a bumper crowd? No, it's going to be, it's going to be very good. We're going to, we're going to need them all. So hopefully it's a good turnout and 
it'll be a great, great, uh, great evening. Thanks, Lee. Thank you. Hi, Lee. Hi, mate. Obviously, now been involved in what is effectively two promotion campaigns with Tranmere, two very different ones in terms of one play predominantly uh, behind closed doors and, and, and what you're enjoying now. But, of course, last season, Tranmere was still in, in the hunt for automatic promotion and, and I'm unlucky not to, you know, uh, not to have uh, achieved that when things just start to tail off towards the end. But what, what are the key differences you can see now between this team now and that team last season? Um, it's a hard question that, um, I'm not sure really. I think maybe you could say we have a better, a better balance maybe this year. I think that could be the only thing that could, that uh, springs to mind. Um, and obviously you've, you've, you've spent a bit of time at, at right back last season, did you? And of course now I think Mickey seems to prefer you in, uh, in the field. And I know it's like to, you like you like to play. You'll play wherever you want. But do you feel more settled now in that role, knowing you know pretty much knowing where you'll play each week when selected? Yeah, I suppose that that's that's a good thing. Yeah, no one well not no one, but having having an idea of where where you'll be playing at the weekend, it's a good thing to have. I can kind of focus my game and my development around kind of that position now. So it's something I'm looking forward to. You had a lot of new players that came in at the start of the season. Um, Obviously, this takes some time, doesn't it, to get used to the, to get used to those individuals and and learn the uh, the way of playing. You you almost even though you were a, a lone player, you almost become one of the elder statesmen, don't you? There was that many that have come through. We, it seems incredible to say that, but uh, it, did that take a bit of time? But you know that sort of gelling process before things really started getting going. Yeah, of course. I think as you said, we had a lot of a lot of new phases this year, and I think not even just gelling on the pitch we all have to get to know each other off the pitch and, and uh, stuff like that so I think you're kind of seeing that come to fruition now off the pitch then who do you sort of hang around with yourself then what's what's your, what's your sort of circle who, who, who do you bounce off my circle probably Ross and uh, Callum we all live live quite close to each other yeah and of course uh, Ross is a, a, another another player who's been, who's been on loan and has had an excellent season it must give you a bit of confidence to have a player like him behind you yeah, definitely. I mean, I've known Ross for a number of years now, and he's always been he's always been a great keeper, and he's it's um, good to see him getting the um, plaudits for it now. It's a bit of a buzz around Tramley supporters at the moment, as as you'd expect anyway, from being on a run of of ten games with no defeats and climbing up to second, but also uh, sort of further kicked on by the these two uh, these these two signings this week. Obviously, yourself and uh, and Josh Hawks as well. Does that does that as a player yourself? Does it give confidence sort of looking ahead to you know into the future that, that the club wants to sign players that it can see can bring value to it yeah 100 percent. i think you can see you can see what the club is building now not even what they're going to build what they are building right now and it's something that i wanted to be a part of so that's that was one of the factors why, why i came uh, and i know you said you know, Saturdays, obviously, it's been looked at as a big game, but to, to you, it's just another game that uh, Tramia needs to go and get a result in. You have got an opportunity to close the gap on Forest Green. What? How do you look? How do you look at the bigger picture here? Do you think, oh, we're going, we're just going for automatic promotion, or do you think we could win the title? I think again, I think it's probably too early to to talk about title and whatnot. It's just, it's just a game, really, and then we'll see what happens come the end of it. Very eloquently put. <laughs> Cheers, Lee. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Lee. How are you doing? Hi, mate. Uh, Mickey has spoken to us in the past few weeks about how everybody in the squad always watches how the team trains. They understand how p players play in different positions. Does that help a player like you when you're expected to sort of fill in in different places in, in the team when you have to? Yeah, exactly. I think, I think I've done it all my career, so it comes quite natural to me, but... Yeah, I've said it a hundred times and I'll keep saying it. I do not care where I play as long as I'm playing, I'm happy. Yeah, and your kind of play style has sort of endeared you to the Tramia fans in, in recently, especially with the incredible run that you've been on. What kind of role do you feel that you play in that midfield? I think just a bit of everything, really. I don't mind, obviously... I'll play when we when we get the ball out and I'll play, but on the other side of things, I don't mind. I don't mind getting right involved. I'm happy to do that.